The second biggest expense for most Americans is your car. And your car is also a liability. The reason why it's a liability is because for 99.9% .9 of people, as soon as you buy a car, it's going to drop in value. Every time you drive that car, it's going to drop in value. For every year you own that car, it's going to drop in value. And so now when your car loses value, what do most people do? They go out to finance a car that they can't afford, which means you're paying interest on something that's losing value that has a limited time span. And this is where I want you to rethink this. Instead of buying such an expensive car, what if you use that $8,000 down payment that you used to buy the BMW to just buy an $8,000 car? Now you get to still have a car which takes you from point A to point B, but you don't have the $800 monthly payment. It's a very different game. And the reason why this is so difficult is because you got a nice job. You went to college. You finally got this nice career. You maybe you got a couple of promotions. And now you're going to drive around in a beat up Toyota Corolla? Doesn't make much sense. But see, the key is, what do you want? Do you want to build wealth or do you want to look like you're rich? Most people want to look like they're rich more than they want to actually be rich. But what's happening in America today, I'll just give you some statistics. About half of America today has zero investments. And what I mean by that is zero stock market investments, zero real estate investments, zero business investments, zero 401k investments, zero IRA investments, nothing. Half of America has no investments at all. Yet, at the same time, one out of five Americans that are going to buy a car today have a car payment, just the car payment of more than $1,000 a month. If you're paying $1,000 a month for your car payment, but you're not putting $1,000 a month into your investments, your priorities are in the wrong place. But it doesn't even have to be $1,000 a month. If you're paying $500 a month to finance a car, but you're not putting the same amount of money into your investments, your priorities are in the wrong place. And this is where you got to understand, do you want to make BMW richer or do you want to make yourself richer? And once you start answering that question, then you got to change what you do. And the reason why it's so hard to change what you do is because it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to let go of that car when you're so accustomed to the heated seats, when you're so accustomed to that nice dashboard that has the Apple CarPlay in it. But the key here is the goal is for you to be able to have all these nice things, but be able to afford them without worrying about the price. See, I want to make sure this is clear. My goal is not for you to live in a shack and drive a beat up car for the rest of your life. I want you to make the right decisions with your money today, make the big decisions because these things can save you a lot of money. We're not talking about the $5 at Starbucks or the $2.85 for the extra guac. They probably raised the price of extra guac. Whatever the cost is for extra guac, we're not talking about the $5 decisions. We're talking about the $500 decisions, the $5,000 decisions, the $50,000 decisions, the big decisions that can make a much more scalable impact on your wealth. Because guess what? If you're not spending $500 or $1,000 on this car, that's money that you get to keep that you can invest. And I'm not even talking about the more expensive insurance because guess what? Insuring the BMW is more expensive. The premium gas on your BMW, your Mercedes, your Audi is a lot more expensive. And the maintenance, you don't even need me to say, you already know, the maintenance on those German cars are expensive which guess what, if you can afford it, great. But if you're not putting the same amount of money in your assets, you can't. If you enjoyed this clip and you wanna continue your financial education journey, I have another video that I think you'll love. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. And for those of you who wanna stay up to date on the top finance and business news, you can join Market Briefs, my free financial newsletter, by clicking that button below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.